Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is going to be the long-awaited review of the Pulsar Super Glide Glass Mouse Skates. Around three weeks ago now, they sent out 30 sets of the Super Glides, and I have had the opportunity to test them on all sorts of mice. And yeah, I'm just finally ready to give a full review. I'm obviously going to answer the question that has been spammed in my comments a thousand times. Did they slow down or not? And I'll just do that right now. The answer is yes, but no. So these have a break-in period. I would not call it slowing down, but when you first get the Super Glide glass skates, there is zero initial friction. So to show what I'm talking about, I have these white Super Glides that I have used for a few weeks on the NPO1S and these black ones I just installed before the review. And on the black ones, you can see that, I mean, this isn't an objective test or anything, but I am barely moving my finger and you can see that like the mouse is just freely moving in every direction. And now when I put that same amount of pressure on the NPO1S, the mouse is still moving, but it's not quite the same like fluid buttery experience that it is on the freshly installed skates. So that break in with the initial friction is the only part of the glide that really changes. But the reason I wouldn't call it slowing down is because I have experienced the really bad muddy feeling from the original batch one super glides and i just want to clarify that that doesn't happen on the new models at least on the i don't even know how many boxes are here probably 10 that i have tested in these past weeks um, so it does seem like they've improved in that aspect i would say i actually do prefer in game the feeling of the broken in super glides because once the super glides break in which i would say takes about three to five days of hard use just depending on how much you use them and probably the surface you're swiping them on as well the initial friction goes from zero to just low and and it's a lot more manageable and balanced in general for all types of aiming. I will say though that I literally do have issues from the initial friction sometimes if I'm just lightly gripping my mouse like this while browsing my desktop. Um, sometimes when I go to click the pressure I put from that will move the mouse. So it's a very minor nitpick, doesn't affect me at all in game, but I'm not gonna lie, failing to click things on my desktop because of my mouse skates does make me wanna bash my mouse into my skull. I know other people have had issues with their desk surface being uneven, so even when they're not moving the mouse, um, the mouse is actually moving just because the friction is so low. I would imagine that if these break in and the initial friction does get a bit higher, that that would go away. Um, but there are potential minor problems with these skates. But honestly, if you install the skates properly and get the experience as is intended, I think that these are really good and I have had great experiences with the quality. Um, Asides from minor fitment issues with the skates, you can see that the bottom skate on the GPX doesn't fit in the slot perfectly well. And the NPO1S bottom skates are honestly really bad. They are pre-production samples. So I presume for the actual production, this will be fixed. But yeah, it doesn't really affect the glide. But when you're paying $20, $25 for a set of skates, you would obviously rather have them fit perfectly than not fit perfectly. I think that's a very pragmatic way to look at it. But across the board, I am impressed with the quality, especially considering how many sets I've installed. I've really seen like, are there many inconsistencies? And it just doesn't seem like there are. Also, the designs of these super glides are cool. You kind of have to admit Pulsar did go the extra step. And I'm sure that adding these designs does increase the cost, but they do say on the box, most premium mouse skates. So I think that's what they're going for. I'm not freaking out about what the bottom of my mouse looks like. Um, but yeah, it is worth mentioning for sure, but it doesn't affect the performance of these. Um, but yeah, I guess that's a good time to talk about the uh, actual glide feeling and the performance compared to PTFE, the lethal gaming gear, glass skates, and uh, whatever else I think about. So the performance of super glides will vary based on a few factors, which does make them somewhat hard to generalize. Um, for example, the type of mouse pad you're using, a smooth control pad will feel a lot more controlled and slower than something like a textured hybrid pad. The amount of pressure you're putting as well, if you put a ton of pressure in like death grip, I will say that um, glass skates probably slow down more than PTFE do in the same death gripping scenario. The weight of the mouse you're putting the skates on, they totally change the feeling of heavier mice, like the Death Adder V2, the G703. It makes them feel 20 grams lighter. That's not an exaggeration. 
So if you have a large mouse, I can give a recommendation for those. But for something like the Starlight 12 with these four corner feet on an already extremely light mouse, I don't think I benefit at all from the lower initial friction. And in terms of dynamic friction, it's not really different enough or better than the stock PTFE skates to really be worth it. On a fast hybrid or Cordura pad, the glass skates would perform a lot faster than PTFE, but who is really out there using a 40 gram mouse with the fastest skates on the fastest pad and just like aiming well? I don't know. I feel like there is a level of control that people have come to expect with PTFE skates. And at least with ultra lightweight mice, I don't think glass skates are really needed or give a huge advantage. On a 60 to 70 gram mice, however, with this large two skate design, like on the XM1R, the NPO1S, they feel extremely smooth and consistent along with that low but manageable initial friction. And once they're broken in, I'll be honest, the Pulsar Super Glides feel very similar, not the exact same as the Lethal Gaming Gear skates. Um, one main thing I can notice, especially on more textured pads, is that the Super Glides are definitely smoother. Um, especially in switching directions, there's a bit less drag feeling um, and less feedback on the skates. One reason for this might be because of how well the edges are rounded compared to the V1 version of the Lethal Skates, but I heard they have a new batch and made improvements, so I'll definitely check those out, but I'm just uh, reviewing what I have. And it's not a major difference. I have tested both of these GPXs, like switching off every game, and there is no major difference in my performance between the skates. Um, so whether you get Pulsar or Lethal Skates will come down one probably to availability. Outside the US, Pulsar is probably going to be the best option because they have retailers for most of the world, if I am correct, while Lethal Gaming Gear mainly to the US and uh, neighboring countries. So like I said, the difference between the Lethal Skates and the Super Glides are not going to be massive. But if you're looking for the smoother and faster glass skate option, in my experience, that was the Super Glides. One last thing to mention is I would definitely recommend the Super Glides over the Lethal Skates if you are going to be using glass skates on any smooth control cloth pad. Um, I don't personally recommend doing that. It's a bit too slow with either option, in my experience. Uh, but micro adjustments definitely feel a bit more consistent with the Super Glides on those types of pads. Um, while both of these feel great on any hybrid pad, really. So I think that about covers the quality and how the glide of these super glides is actually going to feel. But now I'm going to talk about my experience with these in-game and whether or not I recommend them if I think they are too fast to use in real games. Um, the answer to that is no, especially after you give them time to break in. I think that these are great for fast paced games like Fortnite, Apex, anything tracking heavy, um, but really anything where you're moving the mouse around a lot and don't need a ton of precision. I'm not saying that these are bad for precision, but I think most people are generally used to control, um, when going for precision click timing scenarios and you don't gain a lot from the low initial friction in a more crosshair placement heavy game. I feel as opposed to something like Fortnite where you're constantly switching directions so much, it almost feels like there's lower latency due to the lower initial friction to get the mouse moving, if that makes any sense. So in my experience with these, it's been pretty good. There have been moments, especially when I first install a set where it's just way too fast. So without a doubt, there is going to be an adjustment period on the user end as well with super glides. And if you have especially shaky aim, I see how you could just hate these because it will make that a lot more amplified than something like PTFE. Uh, so at the end of the day, PTFE is tried and true. It's cheap, it's safe. And if you're satisfied with it, you really don't need to upgrade to glass skates. I'm not saying like drop everything, rip off your skates and fucking order super glides. But these are top tier glass mouse skates. And I'm going to give them the seal of approval. All of the mice I've installed them on, I don't plan on taking them off. So I guess they will be my new main mouse skates. Um, and yeah, I do enjoy the feeling for faster paced games. Like I said, if you play something really slow paced, probably not going to benefit as much. But if you do try them, give them a solid try. Use them for at least a week before deciding if you want to keep them or not. Because I just think you're doing yourself a disservice if you buy these premium mouse skates and don't even give them a try for a few days, just taking them off after a few hours. Uh, but yeah, Pulsar is making tons of models. This isn't everything that they plan to make in the future, but already tons of selection. And I think that Super Glides are here to stay. It's not just going to be like short-term hype. 
because just in long motions, it's a really consistent feeling compared to PTFE. And it's not an issue with PTFE or something you even notice when you're using it. But now that glass is an option, you realize that it's just like a different type of glide. Sort of makes every pad feel a lot more smoothed out since it doesn't pick up as much texture. Um, so yeah, not going to be for everybody, but I personally like them a lot. That's going to be all for this review. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Any other comments, ask them down below. And yeah, peace.